Hey guys, long time no see. So first of all, I want to apologize for not uploading more frequently. And the reason is because I was super, super busy. So I never intended to be away uh, for like a month or so, which is insane. I've been like, oh, I need to film a video. I need to do this, I need to do that. And the reason why I didn't is because I went to Lanzarote first and foremost, and then when I went, uh, went back into work, my actual full-time job, it was insane. I was traveling for a bit. So although I've been taking vlog footage and things like that, I've not been actually able to sit down and edit it all together. Also, I have seen an influx of new subscribers. I've got about 20, 25 new subscribers, which obviously isn't a lot for like huge, huge channels, but mine is a very small channel. So hello, new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. And I think the reason why I have more subscribers is because of my whole low buy, no buy series. And that's kind of made me slightly rethink the kind of content that I do on this channel. It's not gonna be a massive, massive difference, but I thought I'd take this video to say hello to my new subscribers and then lay out what I'm gonna do for this channel going forward so that everybody has an idea of what's going on. And this will also double as my channel trainer as well. I hope that I won't have these long breaks again because one of the first things that I intend to do is to start pre-filming videos so that there won't be long gaps again. So I wanna film like two or three videos on a sit down session so there's always something to see hopefully fingers crossed that will work but as I said it's the low by no by series that's been the most popular so my intention is to give the people what they want and do more low by no by stuff and my low by no by is going really really well by the way I think it's really it really suits me because of the person that I am I'm not a big spendthrift anyway not that I think there's anything wrong with spending money it's just not what I naturally do I'm not really into buying like loads of clothes I mean for example this t-shirt is a couple of years old so it's not something that I had a huge problem with so I've taken to it quite easily minimalism is something that I also kind of want to explore when I have a little bit more time I'm going to start decluttering loads more of my drawers and obviously I'm going to film all of that and I do think this whole low by no by community is very very helpful every day I watch one or two videos from people that are doing the whole low by no by thing and that keeps me grounded that keeps me focused I actually even watch one during lunch so I might start one in the morning while I go into work and my work commute is about half an hour and then I'll finish the rest off during lunch and then I'll start another one in the evening so I'm always being fed this whole low by no by philosophy and that's really strengthened my motivation to keep it on so because of the success and although it's only been two months I can't declare it a success completely but because of my consistency so far I've been really really encouraged to try and use this channel to help me achieve another goal and that is weight loss and fitness now um, I don't by any means think that I'm fat and um, I don't want anybody to think that I think that I'm fat because I think that's um, disingenuous and not very kind of sincere but for people who actually have weight issues but back in the day I did have weight issues and I have a video that is my 10 top tips to lose weight I'll put it up in the cards and there I talked briefly about how I used to be fat when I was younger and how that really bothered me and how it had a real impact on my psychological well-being and I think I'm going to do another video just talking about my entire weight loss journey and the kind of ups and downs that I faced through it. I never want to go back to that headspace so when I do start gaining weight and when I do start um, seeing my weight creep up I very quickly try and rein it back in and get things back under control. So I thought okay the low by no by keeps me really really accountable so why don't I do the same thing for weight loss and fitness and as I said I don't think I'm fat so I don't want to lose loads and loads of weight I do want to improve my fitness and I also want to look more toned and I think every girl in the world wants to look more toned but there are certain things that you have to do if you want to be more toned and that is really be consistent in your strength training so I thought if I did a similar exercise to the low by no by which is use spreadsheets use charts have a monthly check-in let you guys know how I'm feeling and um, make it a longer term goal initially I was just thinking oh, I'll just do it for the month of, month of March because I'm going to Bangladesh in um, April and then I'll be slim for Bangladesh and I thought no back in the day I have lost weight very very quickly it's a miserable experience it's unsustainable I've actually kind of started the journey already and I went to a gym today I did find it a struggle I'm not gonna lie 
but having this channel will help me and one thing I really like about the low buy no buy is that the people who are doing it are very relatable people they're not huge youtubers well some of them are but the majority of the people that I follow aren't huge youtubers and I really feel connected with them and I really feel like we're on the journey together so I thought this might help me to find other people with smaller channels who are kind of on a weight loss fitness journey or even if there aren't other channels then maybe I could provide that. I will never look like a personal trainer because that's not really my job and I cannot make it such a huge focus of my life but I want to make it enough of a focus that I feel happy with the way that I look and with the way that I feel. So I'm going to do a whole other video on the second journey that I'm going to be embarking on on this channel alongside my low buy no buy. I'll be laying out all the rules that I have. I've written really specific rules in a very similar way to how I wrote really specific rules for the low buy no buy because that was really really helpful and I don't expect to know everything straight away about fitness and weight loss. I know the basics about weight loss because I have been on a weight loss journey but I definitely don't know a lot about fitness and toning so it's going to be a year-long exercise while I where I learn all of these things and hopefully you can follow me on my journey and see where I go and see if I make any improvements or if I stay exactly the same as I am I'm not gonna be unhappy if I stay exactly the same as I am but as with anything you put in the effort and you want to see some results now this channel is obviously a vlog channel so I'm still going to be vlogging but perhaps the vlogs will become more bonus videos. This is such a small channel that I don't think people are actually coming here for just my vlogs. I know a few people are and they're kind of my friends here on YouTube. I met them through my other channels. I used to do a film review channel and my main channel is an educational uh, channel where I make animated videos on topics such as capitalism, socialism and evolution physics, all, all that kind of stuff. So I know some people follow me from those channels. So hello everyone who follows me from those channels and thank you for commenting on my videos. So I'll definitely um, still be vlogging but they will be more like bonus videos. So that's kind of my entire update. As I said, this is going to be a bit of a channel trailer as well. So for new people joining in so they know exactly what they can expect from my channel. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe, like this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.